Without you seeing or controlling the deck in any way, your spectator finds the two cards that match your open prediction every single time, without fail, 100% guaranteed. Hey, here's an impossible card trick. A spectator shuffles a deck under the table, completely out of sight and out of your control. They turn any card face up and shuffle it into the deck before bringing the cards back into view. Now reach in anywhere in the deck without looking at what card you pull out. You're gonna turn it face up and you're gonna put it back in the deck. Again, anywhere you want. And you're gonna take any card out and you're gonna turn it over so it's face up and you're gonna push it back in. Again, anywhere you want. And now it's up to you. Do you want to cut, shuffle? Do you wanna mix them at all? No, I think it's fine. I think it's fine how it is. Now, even under these strict test conditions, you not only predict which card they'll turn face up, but also which card it will end up next to in the deck. Yep, all right. Now, I want you to see that I'm not gonna change those cards in any way. Instead, I'm just gonna spread them out, and we're gonna see what card you turn face up. <laughs> I know, this, this part always, this is the part that always worries me too. <laughs> All right, let's just take a look. So what card did you turn face up? It's got to be in there somewhere. Oh, I think there's one right there. Let's just make sure that there's no other cards face up. There's nothing face up here, there's nothing face up down there. Now that's the target. That would be, that would be good enough. Right? Isn't that good enough? <laughs> like, you just, like, how did you do that? But that's good enough if it's a card trick. This is not a card trick because you did that all yourself. This is a test of your intuitive abilities. So I'm going to go a little further. I'm going to take that Queen of Hearts out and the cards above and below it because there's another side to that post-it note. It's the side I didn't show you. It says that the nine of spades is the arrow. You see, for a target, you need to have something to shoot into the target. It just makes sense. So we've got a couple of choices here. Do you want to keep this card or that card? Which, which one of these do you want to keep? Because I'll, I'll put the other one away. I'll, I'll keep the one under the queen. Under. So I'm going to get rid of this one, yeah? OK. You hit the target. But did you use the arrow? <laughs> and it is the very same arrow. And your prediction has been in full view the entire time. Well, as impossible as it sounds, that's exactly what happens when you play both sides against the middle. And you have to do so little work, you might feel a bit guilty at how great the reactions are. In my opinion, this trick is strong enough to close any set of card magic. And once you try it, I'm sure you'll agree.